All right, guys, we've got uh, Jason Wicks, Mike Stahl, Michael Stahl in the uh, booth here for this final. It's a tale of the take. Got an open doubles final here. Um, Tony's already on the board. Yeah, man, this is, uh, is going to be interesting. Yeah, for sure. Cody Byrie has been known to take Giants out. Um, he has, for sure. I haven't, I didn't watch the winner's bracket match because this is the second time this team is facing each other. Teams. Absolutely. Um, I know Cody's our roommate this weekend, and uh, he said he was, he's feeling pretty confident, but, you know, it is, it is uh, Tony on the other side of the table. And it's funny to see them, uh, Cody and Sam, come out and Cody's playing front. Yeah, every, it's interesting, right? Yeah, every other match they've came out with Sam up front. I think uh, they've got an adjustment in mind, and they know what they need to do. Absolutely. To give themselves, you know, a good opportunity here. Cody sets it up. Walk it to that near side and try to go straight, hoping that Mike would jump off, but Mike stayed home. Yeah, guys, we are at the uh, 2022 Michigan State Championships. We've got sponsors for this event. We do? Um, yeah, we certainly do. Foos Gadgets is one of them. Uh, we've got football withdrawals, rod lock, and we've got so many good um, coming together to help the, the tournament make it big. Absolutely. We've got a bunch of wonderful sponsors. So a lot of players underestimate Mike Gentgen. This guy has been around for a long time in foosball. He's got a really high foosball IQ. Played goalie for Dylan Marshall, uh, winning several major pro titles, Texas State Championships. And there, one, yeah. yeah. Able to find the goal there. They jump out to an early 4-1 lead. See, that's the thing with Tony, I think, is that you have to come out early and you have to constantly put that pressure on 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 him yeah tony's a very hard guy to put pressure on um but if you get ahead early obviously that's the easiest way to do it it is i feel like and he's such a good so good at um when he's up just sustaining his lead you know he doesn't let up but he's able to grab that rebound okay, yeah. on a missed pass. Yeah, the first set that these guys played against Mike and uh, Tony, I guess it was it was three straight. And I think oh. I think uh, Sam predominantly played the front all the way into the last game. I remember seeing the last game, and uh, Sam was a goal and goal by then. That's going to do it for the first game. Yeah, Sam is a really good goalie, Jason. He is. You know, as good as that kid is on the five, his his defense is really good for how young he is. And uh, this is great experience to be able to play one of the best players in the world at a state championship final. I mean, this is great for him. Especially playing goalie. Yeah. And Cody's got the experience. You know, he's been in these situations. He's yeah. played in a lot of finals, so... He's got the uh, you know, the smarts to be able to help Sam, at, you know, in this situation. Yeah, Cody is truly a master player, you know. Um, he's earned that rank. He's a master in doubles. He's been playing pro singles on tour uh, throughout the year. I think he took down a Hall of Fame, maybe a couple other pro titles, Texas State. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's a really great player. He'll be master really soon in singles. Always in the top three. Yep. Very consistent. All right. This game's going to gonna be the, the proof in the pudding here. Nice tight wall by Cody. Tony saw it coming, but just wasn't square on the wall. Well, Cody generally takes his time on all, all four rods. Little cutback action on the push. 
still a good hole to hit. Yeah, so the Greater Lansing Sports Authority is another sponsor here this weekend. It's a nonprofit organization I met and uh, teamed up with. What they do is they keep sporting events in Lansing by assisting with uh, finding a hotel. Um, they've got all sorts of uh, contacts for, for all sorts of things. These bleachers that the players are sitting on, you know, that's all the GLSA, as well as the risers we're sitting on. You know, this it's a lot of help. You know, it's not just me. It's, it takes a village to do these things. Absolutely. So shout out to the GLSA. Mike tried a uh, pass there, a two to five pass, and uh, unsuccessful. And then, next thing you know, the ball's in their goal. Yeah, they actually did offer me um, a pretty good deal for next year already. Surprisingly, the hotel so, did. So yeah, we'll be looking. Uh, we'll be looking at the the third annual for sure. You know, we had a good turnout this weekend. I was hoping for a little bit more, um, but. Um, stay tuned for next year. I mean, if you guys think this this year was good, stay tuned for next year. Uh, every year you seem to uh, increase you know, what you bring to the table. Really, the production value is the most important part for me. And uh, organizing all this, it's a lot. And so you have to keep track of, you know, your plan and how you want to execute it. Having a, you know, foosball sports network here is a big deal for me. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Glad That's to be awesome. here. Yeah. Be here next year. Yeah, guys, go to foosballwithdrawals.com to get some merch as well as uh, Bearded Wonder, right? Foosballsportsnetwork.com. Yeah, it's all Foosball Sports Network now. So if you guys need table parts, you need all sorts of gear, swag, we got you at foosballsportsnetwork.com. Yes, sir. And if I recall correctly, man, it's great service. I mean, you get the shipping's easy. I get a notification, very secure site. It's a great way to uh, purchase swag and all sorts of parts and everything, guys. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Doing a great job over there, man. So Sam, Sam's employing the uh, Ryan Moore defense here. Which used used to be highly effective, um, I would say. And over the last, I'd say, 12, 16 months, that that defense has been slightly less than successful. Where you post up on the pull side, Tony's been doing really well of going around that pull, that post. Able to stab that one through there. So I'm either up or. I am uh, being requested to the stage, the life of the promoter, right? Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, so I'm going to head out, guys. Um, enjoy the rest of this match. Congratulations to both finalists. Um, I'd, I'd love to see Sam and Cody get into this and make it close. I mean, I know they're, they're great players, and they have that ability to do that. So, um, yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming by. Yeah. Saying some kind words. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Um, you guys are awesome class act, so looking forward to it. We've got our first switch of the match. Sam hops up there to uh, take this ball. Cody's able to keep that one out. The dangers of a bank series. And he's able to thread that needle. Looks like Mike may have jumped uh, just a little bit out of the way there. So they switched. And that's going to do it for game number two. Tony and Mike go up two games to none here in this uh, open doubles final.
And so far, they're cruising. I can totally relate to what Cody's going through right now. Sam is able to get this ball through, sets it up. Mike doing a very simple uh, bob and weave defense, and Sam's able to find the middle. Other bank finds its way through the river and over the river and through the woods. That's how that goes. Cody's able to get in front of that. And it's not very often that you see a zone defense for a bank where all men are on the near side of the table. Sam goes along the wall, sets up for a roll over here. Mike able to talk him into a, pull, a push side that was not there. Cody's able to get the initial block, but the uh, subsequent one he was unable to grab. And he's able to get another one. That is three banks for Cody. And here we go. Who's by series live in the finals of open doubles. Fantastic shot there by Sam. Able to get them to four points first in this game. Only with a push kick attempt.
Tony jarred the ball off of Sam's three. I reviewed it. Um, he did not touch the wall, so. Tony doing an intentional pass just to prove a point. Sounds just like him. Nevertheless, Sam and Cody were able to pull that one out. Cody got, what, three, four banks in that one? Always good when your goalie scores. Even better when he scores all the points. Able to get this one to game number four. Tony and Mike are up two games to one. See if Sam and Cody can keep that momentum going here. Tony gets on the board first. A uh, cat pull side rollover. I agree, Adam. Adam and chat. Mike is smart. I agree. Very smart. All right. We got another timeout. Foosby Series making an appearance here. Kind of a WTF moment there for the defense. Let's take a look at this zone.
A patient Sam waits, takes the middle, ties this one up 3 3. Game number four. And it is a match point, championship point for Tony and Mike. Cody didn't find that one funny. And he rattles in another one. Does anybody know the record for goalies? Goalie scoring in the finals of an open doubles match. And that's going to do it, everybody. Tony Spriedeman, Mike Jenshin take that in four games. T Max got the record. Okay. Our runners up, Cody Byron, Sam DeJohn. Congrats, everybody. Well played.